Hi. What's going on? You've been asking me for the best pro club striker build on FIFA 21, and here it is. We're currently like 17-0-0 on this game, early access. The game's only been out a few days. I played around 50 games, and I think I got it down. I think I got you guys. I'm going to show you my traits, my height, my weight, and the position I select. And I'm going to, most importantly, show you guys some tips towards the end of this video on how to improve in striker. Drop a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. We're so close to 150k gamers. We are so close. You could be the 150k sub. Please help us. If you enjoy the build videos, we're going to have a ton more. So subscribe to the channel. Help us get to 150,000 subscribers. Cam, CDM, centre back, goalkeeper, centre mid, wing. They're all coming to this channel. Subscribe so you don't miss a single one. Okay, so the best striker build. Before we do anything, put yourself centre and put yourself as a centre forward. It's just the way to go. You don't want to be playing a striker build. For some reason, your rating goes up. The stats don't change. It's a visual thing, but it's the reason I'm level 87 already. Come over to body, and this is exactly what I would recommend. 5'4", 119 pounds. The system works on, it doesn't change your weight basically every time you move it. It works in brackets, so you can see nothing's changing in this weight. But then as soon as I go over to 123, acceleration goes down a little bit, strength goes up for the weight, and you can see vice versa as I go down. So it works in a bracket system. Now Billy, who I play with, does put himself at 5 for 6. It's just a preference. And he keeps his weight under the 120. For me, I just prefer 5 4, having that little bit more agility and acceleration, keeping myself in the 119. Something to look out for is if you do have the inches system instead of the centimeter system, you can be 5 4, but have two different builds in that. So 5 4 there. Oh, whoops. So five, it's really awkward. So five foot four here is different to five foot four there. If you can see that the stats have changed slightly, but the height remains the same. So I always play on the slightly smaller side of five four, just to keep that acceleration. Technically, I'm a little bit taller in centimeters, but it's not going to mean much. Maybe I get my head on something. We don't really know how the hitbox system works on FIFA. It's not that consistent. So come out of that, find your way to the traits, and let me show you something that's really, really important. A lot of people think, striker, you need to put all your skill points into shooting. You don't. You really don't. The only reason I have skill points in the shooting tab at this stage of the game is for the weak foot. I can guarantee if weak foot was in, like, passing, I would have to go down the passing routes to get it. You want a five-star weak foot, as you can see at the bottom there. Three-star weak foot is just not good enough in front of goal. You're gonna scuff shots, you're gonna miss anything on your right or left foot, depending on which is stronger. So try and work your way down these skill trees. This one does cost 16, right, to get just a weak foot. Obviously you benefit by having long shots, finishing, shot power. I don't personally think you need them at this stage of the game, and you'll see in clips coming up why. But I guess you're gonna have to put your skill points in them, 16 to get that one. Obviously this one, on the weak foot costs you a lot less. You can get this one for just nine. So probably go and get a four star weak foot as soon as you possibly can. Pace wise, don't invest all your points in pace. It's really not worth it. Just these ones for now will do. As you start to grow and unlock more and more things and skill points, then yes, obviously you could put a little bit more in acceleration. But I've already got 89 and 87 on the acceleration sprint speed stats. I'm gonna be outpacing pretty much every CPU and that's kind of all that's important in divisions. The final traits to focus on, is the dribbling. Now, I've always talked about how important I think flair and skills are. There's no better FIFA than FIFA 21 for learning the skill moves and having the flair pass trait. You'll see in the clips, it's set up so many goals for us having this flair pass. All you have to do is hold L2, and then when you click square or X, it will do a fancy pass. You can also shoot with it by holding L1, L2, and circle. So if you get an open net, you can do a little skill goal in there. So obviously that does sound like just mainly for fun purposes. The game is for fun, but if you want somebody who wants to be super effective on the game, I do think you need flair, but if you don't really think you do and you don't want the skill points, you're happy with three-star skills, then you can obviously put these nine skill points into something else maybe you improve your shooting i really wouldn't recommend you passing or maybe you just whack them into pace for me you have to have the flair you have to have the skills it's kind of what the fun it's the fun of the game why would you not so i'm 87 rated 5 4 119 pounds let's get into looking into some clips and breaking down how we play so that you guys can improve whilst using this build if you are going to use this build please just drop a little like on the video subscribe to my channel either of the two would mean a lot and it helps me out big time Go on. Oh, hold on a minute. Oh, fuck, shook. Go, shook. What the fuck? I'm shaking the. Mate, these don't want it. I'll be honest. These don't want it. I'm going out club. <laughs> Ah, 
That skill buff is the one. Yes, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Alright, so let's get into breaking down some of these clips. The first thing you guys need to know if you're playing in striker, goalkeeper is a complete mess. I mean, look at that. It's broken. It might get patched if they're lucky. I don't see it happening because it's FIFA, EA Sports. Maybe, maybe. So you can really take advantage of, of the goalkeepers this FIFA. They really aren't very good. Even the AI, I mean, you can see that front post shot. I don't have really any points in shot power and I'm still smashing that in at the front post easily. So a lot of these clips, obviously you're going to be looking and going, my teammates are stinkers. Yeah, it does help to have players around you that are good at the game. But what you can do is improve. You can show them this video. You can see how we link up. It's important to stay close to each other. One person holds the ball. The other makes the run in behind. And then you can really just mug off the keeper. Like I said, if they have a goalkeeper, chip him. Just wait for him to flick the stick. Whatever way he flicks, it's so easy to put the ball past him. I can see there. I just wait for him to basically sit down and dink it over him. Something I've been wanting to do on FIFA for a while, but not at the expense of goalkeepers not being able to play the game. Chip shots, massively overpowered. You get this auto lock now when the goalkeeper comes out. This vibration in the controller. It's all very exciting, gamers. It's all very exciting. Chip shots are really OP, basically. They, they tend to go in a lot more than they did on other FIFAs. The other thing you can do to manipulate goalkeepers is taking the ball round them. I found it so easy, this FIFA. Way easier than others. I mean, a ball roll, an R1 with the right stick push round, which, which we do a little bit later. And there's also, I mean, you can honestly fake shot. Very overpowered skill move. This game is a sprint fake shot. I think Billy does it here. Just takes it straight past the goalkeeper, open net, and manages to do a skill goal with that flare trait into the net. So, yeah, it's it's goalkeepers are a mess. Striker season out here. It's very easy to score goals. Very easy to sit goalkeepers down. So if you count yourself lucky when you come up against one because it's pretty easy to do. It's pretty easy to score goals. The ball roll is still very, very effective. One thing I see a lot of people doing is a big mistake, and this will go in a future video, a big striker build breakdown or a striker tips breakdown, I should say. Is, is just sprinting around a lot. A lot of you guys will use your stamina, burn it to the ground, especially when you're low level, before you've even had a chance to like get into the second half. Try not to sprint too much, especially if you're not on the ball. Just wait in between the centre-backs. Wait for a mistake that a lot of any's you play against will do, which is pulling their centre-back out of position. They'll rush him out to push. You can then use your advantage of getting in behind. A double sweat, always nice to see as well. Sweating in this game, it's just passing the ball across the face of the goalkeeper. So effective. We do it pretty much every time we're in front of goal. Like there, maybe I could have scored an easy goal, but it's even easier just to give Billy a tap in. So Harry plays me through here, running in. It's it's it, You guys are pretty much getting the basis of this. I, I, the sweating the ball is just the most effective way to score goals. Nothing's changed. It really hasn't. It really, really hasn't. I will do, as I said, if you guys want to see it, a real in-depth attacking video, how we break down teams. There's different types of teams to break down, different types of any's. Some ev Everyone has a different challenge. Sometimes you have to be more direct. Sometimes you've got to play back to your CPUs more. I think a lot of people make the mistake of sort of just playing one play style and trying to rush through every single person. Now, I'm going to show you this goal here. We've linked up from absolutely nothing. I think the ball starts with our goalkeeper. When you're in striker, your any's got the ball in goalkeeper. Try and pull out wide, give him an option like I've done here. The cam purple then goes down the line, giving the ball. Try and just stay in, you know, reach of each other. You want to keep passing the ball to one another. Nice little new skill move there. That drag back's really nice. A fake Rabona, back heeled into me, another skill move and smash it. And honest, honestly, there, if I shot front post or far post, I believe on this FIFA it's going in. So really, really easy to score goals. You guys shouldn't be struggling with that, especially if you've got this build on. Always try and be there for your teammate. Billy could have probably scored that, but it's even easier for me to come in and for some reason make it look like a really difficult finish. But... You know, just score an open net. I nearly kicked the ground there. That would have been hilarious. So yeah, this really just a breakdown about finding space in the box as well. We haven't really got enough time today to cover all of that. But you can see there, 4-4 in the game, 3-4, and then scoring a last-minute winner. Just finding space is really important. Not sprinting around, pulling off into areas where, you know, you can receive the ball, take a touch, get it out your feet, and smash it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Got a couple more clips to run out. I want to say thank you for all the support we've had on the channel recently. Give this build a go. Let me know if it works for you. Drop a like on the video if you're going to use it. And thank you for all the support. We're going to have Cam, CDM, unfortunately, goalkeeper 
fullback, centre back builds coming to the channel over the next few days. So make sure you sub so you don't miss it. Send this out to your friends as well because a lot of them are going to need it. A lot of you guys are stinkers on the sticks on clubs. Trust me, that's why we, we win games 13-0 in early access. You can see though crossing is still actually pretty decent in this game. They changed it to manual, taking it around the keeper there. Nice little new skill move as well. And with a nice skill move and the crossing is going to take a lot more skill this game. As is heading. Haven't even touched on heading. It's manual. So a lot of you guys are going to be missing some really easy headers. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you next time. We're going to be live streaming tonight.